Hi crafting fam and welcome back to Victoria's Creations. Vicki here and today we are going to work on ceramic car coasters. We're going to sublimate to turn a plain car coaster into a beautiful car coaster. If you're ready, follow me to my crafting table. So I know this is not the normal way you usually see my crafting table, but like I said, this is a small area and this guy is really heavy. So in order for me to turn my table, I would have to take it off my table, then put it back on my table. And guys, I love you guys, but that's a heavy machine and taking it down and taking it. I already have to move it every time I do something other than sublimation or I need something. But so for today, I'm going to leave my crafting table right where it sits and still be able to show you guys because see, we can still see everything. Excuse the mess in the back, but we can still see everything that we're going to need. Okay. So for today's project to do our car coasters, our ceramic car coasters, because remember we have the uh, neoporne car coasters, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but those we're not doing today. Today we are only doing the ceramic car coasters. So the materials that you're going to need are the uh, hot press and you can use the one that I use here or you can use um, any of your Cricut uh, heat presses. I do have the Cricut heat presses. I just find that I can use this one because it, I use this one easier because it gives that even pressure and that makes it easier on me. Um, you need your car coasters. You need butcher paper. Um, your heat resistant uh, tape. And I have mine in this little, I'm telling you guys, if you do not have this dispenser, you're missing out. You really should get it. This thing is a game changer to be able to get the tape off and not have to use both hands. Game changer. Cut your tape and everything. You need butcher paper, heat resistant gloves. You don't necessarily need tweezers, but I find when taking the heat resistant tape off, when they're hot, it helps out a lot. You need your images and you need a heat mat. And that is all there is to it. It's a very simple, easy process. If you're ready to get started, let's go. Step one, get my free ceramic car coaster PNG design. To access the designs, you will need to go to victoriescreations.com and go to the vault. Once in the vault, you will either enter the password if you have it. If you don't have it, you could easily receive the password by subscribing to the newsletter for free. Inside every email I send out is the password. Once you're inside of the vault, you'll want to find 110 Ceramic Car Coasters. Click on it and download it into your computer. Step two, prepare your designs. Locate your designs in your computer. Open up the PNG. Your images should open up, so you'll want to now print them out. Step three, printing out your designs. Make sure that when you're printing, if you're like me and you have a printer for normal things and then you have a printer for your sublimation, make sure you're using your sublimation Printer. I have all of my settings already preset and I've named it sublimation. This makes it easier for me to know that when I print this, I'm at the highest quality. My images will be printed in the mirror, which means it'll be backwards, which when you're doing uh, sublimation is extremely important. If you do not mirror your images, they will come out backwards, which is not an issue per se when you're having just your pictures, but if you have any words on your images, it will cause your, your words to be backwards and you wouldn't be able to read them. Click print to print them out. Step four, preparing your ceramic car coasters. With our designs printed, 
We're gonna cut out our designs and I'm not going to cut the circle. I'm going to just cut in between and then I'm going to adhere my car coasters onto the image with it still on the paper. Using heat resistant tape, I will attach my coasters to the paper. I have found that doing that is easier for me than cutting the image out and then it, it fixing it or adhering it to the coaster itself. Make sure you wipe off the top with a lint-free cloth. I've already done that, so I'm gonna make sure I don't touch the front. At this point, you can decide do you want the C or the little piece missing on that side or this side? And I want mine to be on this side because I want to be able to see the whole sunflower. So for this side, I'll flip it this way. It doesn't really matter which way you have it. The only thing that matters is you make sure your image is or make sure your coaster is in the image and that there's no white spots around it so that you know that it's, the whole image will cover the entire coaster. I hold my image or my coaster down so that it doesn't move while I am attaching tape and it's okay to go crazy with using tape. It's not gonna hurt anything. As far as this goes, I like to be, I'm more of a better safe than sorry kind of person. So I like to make sure that I know my image is not gonna move. Coasters are heavy. This paper is not gonna hold these without, not gonna hold them still when you move them because you're gonna move the paper because you have to be able to put it in your um, heat press. Don't worry about running out of tape unless you are very, very low because this stuff lasts a long time. Two more pieces just for safe measures. And there we go. Your image is ready to go in the heat press. Before we can put our car coasters in the heat press, we have to make sure that we are protecting our heat press. This means if you're using, whether you're using the big heat press like I am using, or whether you are using Cricut's uh, heat presses that you use with your hands, Make sure you are protecting. I'm going to fold that in the other way. Make sure you're protecting your machine because if you do not use um, protection on your items, the ink will transfer in onto your machine. And then the next project you do, the ink could transfer onto that project. So make sure that you cover your image with um, butcher paper. You can use even cardstock paper. I Step five, apply your designs on your ceramic car coasters. If you're using a heat press similar to this one, before you turn it on, you have to make sure that your pressure is right. So open your machine up 
Take your coaster, take a coaster, place it in your machine, and hold your hand, push your handle down. That went down super easy. When I lift it up, if I don't see any kind of indent there, then I know my pressure is not, not good enough. There was a little indent. I want it to be a little bit more, so I'm going to tighten it a little bit. That was a little bit more pressure. You don't want it too much pressure, pressure because ceramic can break. And you definitely don't want that. That's too tight. When you go to close the lid, if there is any kind of resistance where it's really, really hard to close it, you want to make sure that you don't use that setting. Once you have the setting where you want it and you like the pressure, then it's time to turn it on. Now for your ceramic car coasters, you want to set your temperature at 400. And your temperature should be set to 90 seconds. And now you wait for the temperature to get up to 400 and it will beep to let you know that it's there. Now that our heat press is ready, it's time for us to put our ceramics underneath the hot plate, making sure that we do not touch the top part. It's already warm under here. Just putting my hand on the bottom plate, I can feel the heat. Imagine how bad it'll hurt if you touch this. No, we don't want to find that out. So before I put my ceramics under here, I want to make note that as I was doing my time before, I only set it to 360. I'm not really sure why I did that, but I did. I fixed it and put it up to 400. So we're at 400. We're gonna bake it at 400 degrees, 90 seconds. So let's go ahead and get our ceramics in our heat area. Make sure when you're picking up, remember, it is on the paper here, so don't just pick it up all willy-nilly. Be very careful. Make sure when you put it under the heat press that the paper side is up. You want your design side up. Make sure you keep the butcher paper over it. I try, since there's only two of them, I wanna try and keep it kind of centered. Gives it that even pressure and lower. The heat press, let it do its thing for 90 seconds. Make sure you have your heat gloves on because these ceramic pieces are going to be extremely hot. When you open up the butcher paper, you should be able to see your images without taking the paper off. I like to flip and do a little test, a peak test, if you will. And to do that, I'm just going to take the tape off of one part and kind of peek through. And yep, that looks good. So now I'm going to take the ceramic pieces off of here. Turn my machine off. Make sure also that when you are sublimating, you are in a well-ventilated area. Um, my office is kind of small, but I do have a window and it's open. So that way, and my heat press is right next to my window so that I don't have to worry about the fumes so much. When I take my ceramics or really anything that's going to be extremely hot off up, which is pretty much everything, off of my heat press. I always put it on my Cricut heat mat. That way it protects all surfaces, including what I'm working on. So now that we did the peak test, we know that the image is there. We can take the tape off. If you can help it, try not to take it off by scraping the back of 
the um, coaster. Something else I forgot to mention. <laughs> when you are getting your image ready to go on your coaster, your coasters have two sides. They have a flat, what I call a flat side, and then they have the shiny side. The shiny side, and you can feel it when you feel it, you can tell the difference. The flat side is kind of, it's rough without being rough, if that makes sense. And then the shiny side is very smooth. The shiny side is the side that you want to sublimate on, not the rough side. The rough side, the flat side, that is the back. That is the bottom. So make sure you sublimate on the shiny side. And that is how easy it is to sublimate the ceramic car coasters. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how easy it is to create ceramic car coasters for your car or truck or any vehicle that you drive. Remember with the ability to add any image you want to your sublimation, the sky is the limit on what you can create. So until next time, remember to keep crafting your best life.